Hey folks, uh, this is the new Canon uh, G7X Mark II and I wanted to show you it in a mirror. Uh, in short, I'm going to go outside and we can see how this performs. I'm going to be focusing this video mostly for vlogging and video purposes. Pay no attention to my wrinkled shirt. <laughs> this definitely needs an iron, ironing. Anyway, um, the new G7 Mark, G7X Mark II has a new grippy thing here so it's easier to hold. Kind of a rubber grippy thing. Also, the screen not only pops up for doing vlogs and selfies, but also can move out and also angle at different angles and angle down and things like that. So it's more of an opposable screen. And also they've made a whole bunch of improvements. I think like literally like 25 different improvements in terms of a new digit processor, better audio, better video quality and all that kind of stuff. So let's go outside and I'll talk more about it and you can also get a sense of how it looks um, sort of in a vlogging type uh, scenario. But I think it does really well indoors as well, as you can see here, the, the exposure and the light um, of uh, the video looks really great indoors and uh, I'm not in a very bright environment or anything either. Let's go ahead and go outside. Okay, so I'm outside right now and instead of going on a full walk, I decided to just come out here on the uh, balcony and uh, just shoot in the natural light. Um, I've got the camera on the um, Monfrotto, I think it's called the Pixie Evo. Um, tripod so I'm holding it a little bit you know uh, more comfortably um, I apologize for all this noise but this might be a good test um, there's all kinds of crap going on around here like construction um, next uh, neighbors are using a leaf blower over there which you might be able to hear in the background um, also this is a good test because I have mixed mixed lighting here so it'll be interesting to see how this tracks my face and stuff like that um, I am shooting into the full 1080p 60 and uh, this camera does not do 4k uh, so that's one thing that you should be aware of uh, the competitor camera the Sony does do 4k but I think you can only shoot like three minutes of 4k before overheating which I think is kind of ridiculous <laughs> um, but they've made a lot of imp improvements um, with the Canon G7X Mark II over the G7X in terms of the video quality and the still image quality is a lot better. It's also a lot faster in terms of the uh, digit processing in it. Uh, in burst mode, I think it can shoot up to, I think, four to six frames a second, whereas before it could only shoot one. Basically, there's like a whole long list of like 25 uh, different improvements that they have made with the Mark II version of the G7X over the older uh, G7X. Uh, also, the ring around the lens is not only clickable, but it has a little button that you can set to make it smooth, so that's really nice. If you want to do like a rack, use it for rack focus and stuff like that, you can actually make that smooth. Um, so this is a good test. This is going to be testing um, not only the image quality uh, when shooting in video mode, but also the audio quality, as well as the image stabilization as well. I think the video quality on this camera is really good and really excellent and I think it performs really well as a vlog camera. Uh, something to note though, the built-in microphones do pick up wind noise so that is a little bit of a negative if you're doing vlogging within in a windy environment out by the shoreline you know or just between buildings where it's really windy it is going to pick up a significant amount of wind noise. Now they did try to improve that by adding in a new feature, not only the automatic wind noise reduction feature, which is still there, but on the Mark II, they also added in a noise attenuation feature, which will automatically sort of attenuate the wind noise. And um, I think that helps a little bit, but there's still quite a bit of wind noise on the built-in microphones. And there is no way to uh, use a external microphone. There's no, in, there's no microphone jack on this camera, so that's, uh, that's one negative with the Canon G7X series. But I think for general purposes and for the size of it, it really is a very good vlog camera for the price. So this has been my test of the Canon G7X Mark II. For any questions or community and discussion, check the comments field. And for pricing and availability, check the description field. Oh, also another thing I want to mention is the ca this camera only has a 4.2x zoom, so not very, uh, not much of a zoom. Um, it does have, you know, an additional optical, I mean, a digital zoom on top of that, but um, not much of a zoom indeed uh, on this uh, on this camera. 4.2x is is something, but it's not, you know, it's not that much. So, uh, but it has good image stabilization, good image quality, and I think good audio quality as well. And does appear to be a worthy upgrade over the prior model, the G7X. So thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.